like I shouldn't be allowed to go down Oxford Street because every time I go, there's always just the shop that I just wander into for a browse and I come out with this much stuff. So today's store was Bershka. I actually am really excited to try on all these pieces because they were my favorite brand in the summer. Like honestly, if you go down on my Instagram, pretty much everything I bought was Bershka. So hopefully that autumn winter collection will pull through. <laughs> If you guys do enjoy this video and you're not yet subscribed, I'd be really grateful if you hit that button down below. I'm so close to 10K now. It was literally my goal by the end of the year. So fingers crossed we'll be able to make it happen. So thank you in advance if you do hit that button. Um, so I'll show you the first piece now, which is this really gorgeous Holtenex style dress. Um, I don't really know. I feel like it's, it's like a chocolatey brown color. Um, but it's got like a purple tinge to it. It's, it's a really beautiful shade. It's very autumnal. Um, but I think this is really, really lovely. I like the sleeves and I like the whole snack. I don't know if it's a twist one um, or whether you just kind of like put it over your neck. But yeah, I'm really excited to try this because I've never worn anything quite like this before. Oh my God, this is literally like one of the most sexy dresses I have ever worn. Like, can we take a moment for it? Oh my god i am absolutely obsessed the color is stunning this it just fits perfectly and um, so it definitely is like a twist over the neck kind of one it has got quite a bit of stretch to do that but i don't even want to take it off like i literally i literally feel like that bitch i feel like the main character in this dress oh my god i love it i love okay you guys i know it's very early on in the haul but you guys need this dress like oh Stunning. Next up, we have another little dress. Again, this is not really something that I would usually pick up, um, mainly because I just haven't seen this kind of thing in stores before. So it's like this faux leather little mini dress with lace detailing. I think this is really lovely because I see so many dresses like this in a satin material. And for me, I think they look really nice on people. But when I've tried them on before, I feel like I look a little bit like I'm wearing a nighty or like pajamas so i really like this leather one even though i've got it all twisted up so yeah i'm i have high hopes for this because i just think this is really really different and the quality of it actually looks quite nice as well so we will see this is actually really cute and just so different and um, i actually think obviously when you're not looking up close that it kind of does look satiny, even though it is like the pleather material. Um, I did just realise it's actually got a zip here, um, so I just literally slipped into it. So I think this is like quite a nice dress. Like I think if you wanted it tight, you probably could size down, but I'm quite happy with the way that it sits on me. Um, I just think this was a really nice oversized blazer and like knee high boots, it's just gonna look so good. Um, so yeah, I really love this. I think I'm gonna keep this one, like it's different. I haven't really got anywhere to wear it, but I'll figure it out. I'll, I'll find somewhere to wear it because this dress definitely deserves a moment. Oh my god, okay, so there's this blazer that I saw on the ASOS website a few days ago. It was actually when I did my last ASOS haul, which was the one that I've uploaded before this one. There was this green blazer that I really wanted. It's from Bershka, and it completely sold out. And I don't, can't remember if it's on the Bershka website. If it is, I'll link it down below. But I found it in the store, and oh my god, I literally, I did like a little happy dance. Honestly, people there must have been like, who is this girl? But I was so excited to finally see it. So it's basically like your average cropped blazer from the front. But at the back, it's got this really gorgeous lace-up detailing. Like, this is... It's like a mullet of a blazer. Like, business at the front, party at the back. And I also really love the lining in this. Like, this really cool striped effect. I just think this looks really, really good quality. It feels good quality. So, I'm really hoping it looks nice. I got it in a size small, and I hope that was the right size. But, oh, God, honestly, I'm so happy to have this in my life. The colour of this is so beautiful it's kind of like a mix between a sage green and like a lime green and um, so this is the front so you basically just like wrap it over um there is one side which you should wrap over because i was i was trying it on and i wrapped it the wrong way and i was like my boobs are literally out but i've done it correctly now and then this is the back which is really gorgeous i just love the detailing and um, i don't know why i thought it was going to crisscross a little bit more at the back but i don't mind that it's just a one shop i think that looks really cute but yeah especially with these jeans i think this is really this is really nice i like this little outfit 
a major trend that's kind of happening right now, and I think it's going to continue for the next few months, is really oversized, like exaggerated oversized blazers. They look so good with everything. You can really dress up an outfit with them, or you can also um, kind of make them a little bit more casual. They're so versatile. So I picked up this one, um, and I'm not going to lie to you, it's like that really horrible pleather fabric that smells so I'm hoping that that's going to kind of go soon because it really does smell um but I thought it looked really nice I went very very oversized with this like I bought a size large I don't know if it's an oversized fit anyway um but as you can tell this is quite like this is quite big for me to wear I wouldn't normally wear a blazer in this size but I think this is going to be exactly what I'm looking for in terms of style so as long as the smell goes and it fits nicely then I'm going to be wearing this all the time this is exactly the fit that I wanted it to be. It's just nice and oversized. And I also like how long it is because it does mean that you can wear it as a dress if you wanted to. Um, oh, I didn't actually notice this. It's got like little buttons there. That's that's quite nice actually because sometimes these kind of blazers don't. Um, but oh my God, it really does smell. I think I'm going to have to leave this on the balcony to like just breathe for a bit because it, it is awful. Um, but yeah, other than that, I think this is such a great blazer. I'm really excited to style this up. I feel like it wouldn't be an autumn haul by me unless there was quite a few neutral pieces. So we're going with the first, which is this really lovely oatmeal coloured um, ribbed mini dress. This has got some really interesting sleeves, so they're not attached to the rest of the dress, which for me, I don't know if that's actually just quite a lazy thing. Like, I think they probably could have attached it and it wouldn't have been too much of a struggle. Um, but I thought I'd get it anyway because the colour is really nice. I actually saw a girl speaking about this on Instagram a couple days ago and she styled up really nicely with like knee-high boots and a cute blazer. So that's why I got it. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about these sleeves. I feel like knowing me, I'd end up like pulling them off and then one, one would get lost. Um, so yeah, I don't know. For 25 99 I did expect the sleeves to be attached, but we're going to try it anyway. I might love it. Oh, okay. So this dress is more like a little mini dress. And then these kind of work as like fingerless gloves. This is a very sexy dress. This is absolutely stunning. I actually really love this. Um, it's quite, I mean, it's not that short, but I do, I do feel like if this was a midi dress, this would like look so much better. I am going to keep it because I'm just obsessed with the colour. Um, and I think I can probably just style this out with like a really nice trench coat or something over the top. But yeah, I am very impressed. Um, and I'm really glad that they added the um, like finger holes because I feel like it's not going to fall down as much. Because I feel like it's kind of held up here, held on by my hand. So yeah, this is probably one of my favourite things that I picked up actually. Okay, I am so excited about these next trousers. So I did try these on yesterday because I went out and I was literally having like a major panic about what to wear and these trousers fit so well you'll see in the next clip so they're these really gorgeous like kind of like a torpy color like a torpy neutral obviously me and my neutrals with like this white stripe that goes down it, like a pinstripe they just look really really nice i think these are going to look great with a pair of white chunky trainers or even with like a little corset top and heels for the evening i think these are really really nice and these make your bum look unreal like i'll show you obviously in the next clip but i was like Oh my god, maybe I should wear these. I didn't wear them out in the end, but I was very tempted to because honestly, I don't have an ass, and this this did something to it that I've never seen before, and I was like, wow, love. Okay, so hopefully this angle you can kind of see the trousers, but like, do you see what I mean? They just make your ass look so good. I love them, especially when you wear like heels or boots. Um, but yeah, I just think they're really nice. They are obviously a little bit long for me. Probably would wear heels or like chunky trainers, but. Yeah, just really nice fitting trousers. Um, I actually, so I feel like brands are so different. They vary a lot. I actually got these in an eight, which I think fits me perfectly. So I think Bershka runs quite, um, maybe just a little bit larger, whereas like other brands like Misguided and ASOS, I'd probably buy six. But yeah, other than that, literally just the most perfect trousers. I really love them. I'll show you a little accessory that I picked up next because I feel like I never really pick up that many accessories when I do hauls, especially from Bershka. But I feel like I need to get some more caps. I think caps are such a great item to have, especially when you've got like a bad hair day. And this chocolate brown one with this white embroidery, I thought was really, really nice. I'm not going to try it on because my hair honestly has been a nightmare today and I, I don't want to mess it up wearing this hat. But I think it's really, really lovely. It was... 7 99 which I think is a really good price. And the quality feels pretty good in it. It's got like a little elasticated bit here so you can kind of adjust it to your head size. But 
yeah, I just thought this was nice. I think I'll get a lot of use out of this with like more kind of casual outfits. Um, so yeah, I love this. I know Halloween is still quite a few weeks away, but if you're doing like a 2000s or like late 90s, early 2000s outfit, I think this top is going to be perfect because it's screaming like clueless, um, mean girls. Also, what else is there? Like Charlie's Angels. I think that was like early 2000s. This top just screams that to me and I absolutely love it. It's in this gorgeous fluffy fabric which I actually cannot wait to wear because it just feels so cosy and warm and lovely. Um, although I don't really know how pieces like this can be washed because it's obviously got the little diamante heart. So I don't know, if I love it enough I'll keep it but it seems quite impractical. Um, but I had to pick it up because I really wanted to try it on. This is honestly so comfortable. Like I feel really cozy in it. I think it was last year when, or maybe like the year before when Kim Kardashian came out with her Skims collection in this fluffy fabric and it's so nice and it keeps you very like toasty and warm. But yeah, I don't know in terms of like the style of the top, I don't know if I like the neckline. I'm not too sure how I feel. I feel like it is quite boxy. I think maybe if these came in a little bit more, it might look a bit more flattering. But yeah, what do you guys think? Like, do you think I should keep this? Because it is cute, it's very different. I've not seen anything like it, but it's also not very practical. So I don't know, I'm a bit, I'm, a, I'm like 50-50 on this one. We have a little co-ord next, and can I just premise this by saying that it's very similar to what I'm wearing right now. I love a little cropped, like, patterned checkered blazer. Like, I just love it. So they are different, but not that different, I'm not gonna lie. Um, so this is very similar to the blazer that I'm wearing, except this has got like this kind of loop bit at the bottom, which is really interesting. I think this is gonna look really nice on. Um, so this is the blazer, and then it comes with some matching trousers. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know how much I like these, to be honest, but I thought I'd get them with the blazer, because I think this could be quite nice as a set, but I wouldn't usually just pick up the trousers. Um, so yeah, I don't know. What are they like? I think, have they got a split? Oh, they've got a split hem. Hang on a minute. Maybe, maybe I do like these more. They've got a split hem. So maybe it's going to be quite a cool outfit. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I've, I've got to really love this to be able to keep it because it literally is basically the same as what I'm wearing. It's a lot cheaper though. This is 29 99 and this is from Topshop and this was like nearly £60. Um, but I have to say, what's, what's the quality saying? I think the quality of this is a little bit better, but I don't know, I'll try it on. I can't say all of this without actually trying it on, so we'll see in the next clip. Okay, hopefully you can kind of see this. I'm not very good with angles when it comes to doing like pieces showing trousers. Um, I don't think I like this very much as a set. I feel, I literally looked at myself and I was like, mm, I feel like I look like the Monopoly man. I know he doesn't wear something like this, but it kind of feels a bit uniformy, or like if I worked on a train maybe. Um, so yeah, I think the blazer on its own, if you can kind of see, I think this is nice, but with the trousers, it's no, it's a no. So I think I might keep the blazer, not gonna keep the trousers, I just think they're a bit too much for me. You really can't go wrong with a basic ribbed dress, especially for, you know, the layering season, like you can layer this with a cute cardigan, you can layer it with a really big oversized blazer, with heels, with trainers, like these are just such great pieces to have. And I don't actually have one in this cream colour, I've got like lots of beige ones, I've got black ones, but I don't have one in this shade, and I've got so many nice blazers that I think will go with this, like even the blazer that I'm wearing now would look really cute with this. So yeah, I just thought I'd pick it up. It was, it was only 11 99 which I think is a really good price and they do it in so many colours as well. Um, so yeah, hopefully this, um, hopefully this looks nice on. I picked it up in small, so yeah, I think, I think it'll be fine. I think it'd be fine. Oh God, is that a stain? Oh no, it's pink thread. Oh God, I think you panic then. This is like your perfect, just basic mini dress. Um, I feel, I am wearing nude pants, but I feel like this has the potential to be quite see-through, just because, like, I can just kind of tell what the filming lights are when I look in the mirror. So, yeah, if you just wear nude underwear, then you're going to be fine with this. But, yeah, it fits nicely. It's not too tight, which is the best thing. I feel like these dresses, when they're really tight, they're just so not flattering, unless you've literally got, like, the flattest stomach. Um, but, yeah, I think this is really cute. I love the colour. Um, and I also like the fact that it's not too short, like I don't know if you can, oh yeah, you can see. So it goes like, just maybe like that much above my knee, which I don't mind. Um, I am five foot three, just for reference. Um, so I am on the shorter side, so maybe like if you are a bit taller than me, it'd be a bit shorter. But 
yeah, it's really nice. So you know the really nice bum trousers that I was wearing earlier? I have a feeling these are the same fit or like a very similar fit. But these are in more of just like a basic camel colour. Um, I know that I have a lot of trousers in this shade, but I do genuinely wear them all the time. It's like my uniform in like the colder months. So you can never have enough in my personal opinion. So I really, really like these. Um, they've got like this nice kind of band on the inside. They look... I don't know actually, saying that, they're not lined on the inside and they were £25.99 so I don't know, we will see, we will see, they're straight leg, they just look really nice with everything to be honest so yeah, if these do fit the same as the others then I'm probably going to keep them just because it's very rare that I find a fit that I love as much as that. Okay, these are definitely nowhere near as nice as the trousers from before, they just bunch up very strangely here. Um, they have got pockets, which I don't know if the last one's dead, I can't remember. But, yeah, these are a no for me. They do wear the bum, you know, peachy, it's alright. But, in terms of the fit up here, like, this is not, this is not what I want to invest in. So, yeah, would recommend the ones from before, not these. I just don't think, I, I cannot see these looking nice on anyone, to be honest. Because, it just, it's so, like, bunched here. It's just, it makes me look short, I think, to be honest. Like, the way it kind of sits. So, they're a no from me, unfortunately. An essential basic that I feel like everyone needs in their wardrobe is a little turtleneck top, especially one in like black, white, and like a beige color. I just think that that is like the three things that you need. If you've got that, you've got a nice pair of trousers, like you are sorted with your outfit. They just are so effortless, but they look really good, especially when you style them up with like nice jewelry as well. So I saw this cropped one, I thought it was really cute. Um, although I have to say the arms look very, small they haven't they've got a bit of stretch but don't quite know i don't know whether i should pick this up in a medium so you might need to size up in this but yeah we'll find out we'll find out in the next clip when i tell you this top was so like tight to get on it really was i'm concerned about taking it off to be honest but i do think i will keep it because i really love it i love the fit and even though like it is tight but it's not uncomfortable like i've got quite a lot of movement in my hands which is the main thing um so yeah i think it's really really lovely but i would i think if i could go back i probably would actually size up to the medium because this honestly is very tight like it might loosen up I, I never know with these kind of fabrics obviously because i think i think it's synthetic they do sometimes get a bit looser with wear so it might do that but yeah just something to kind of bear in mind if you don't like wearing things that are really tight definitely do size up but other than that, I think the fit is really nice. I think this is going to literally go with like so many different outfits over the next few months. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it because I do think if I take it off, I'm just going to get loads of foundation on it. So don't really have a choice. I think this might be the only kind of like summary item that I got. So I don't know if I will keep it just purely because I don't know how I'm going to style it up. I mean, there is a bit of a heat wave going on right now in the UK. It's like 22, 23 degrees, which... For us, is quite good. Um, so yeah, I picked up this little crop top. I love the colour of it. This really lovely light beige colour. I think it's nice. And I just think this kind of asymmetric vibe is so different. I think this is going to look really interesting on. But I do wish they bought this out a few months ago. Or maybe I just didn't see it. But I think it is a new in item. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Oh, I love it. But I just feel like if I get it, I might only wear it a couple of times before it gets a bit too cold. So... Yeah, it's a bit of a shame. They did it in quite a lot of colours as well, I believe. I think they had it in a black, maybe a white as well. So, they're obviously expecting these to be very popular. So, yeah, it might look unreal on. I'm excited, I'm excited to try it because I've never worn anything in this style before. You know what? I'm actually kind of obsessed with this top. It's just so unique. I've not had anything like this before. And I did think, oh, is it going to be quite uncomfortable because it's such like a strange neckline but it's actually really comfortable so i love it i think i will keep it just because i mean i'm meant to be going on holiday at the end of this month i don't know if it's going to happen so i think this might be quite a nice top to have for that but yeah it's annoying that it's come out at the end of summer because i'm obsessed with it and i honestly would have worn it every single day and then the final item that i picked up is actually the same as the little black roll neck that i just tried on just a minute ago um but i got it in the beige color i obviously loved it enough um one thing i would say is that i think this seems a little bit bigger it's the same size but it feels a bit i don't know it just feels a little bit bigger but maybe that's because black they always say black's a slimming color so maybe it just looks 
smaller um but yeah obviously we will know my opinion on the black one by now i haven't tried it on yet so this might be a waste of time trying it on or i might be obsessed with it i actually do think this is a little bit bigger than the black one from before it just doesn't feel so tight everywhere so maybe i just picked up a slightly smaller one you know how like things can differ in sizes slightly so for this one from what i've seen so far maybe stick in your like usual size and then for the black one maybe size up but yeah really cute we're gonna keep this one as well because i do love it they're just the best kind of basics to have so yeah i really like it they also do it in white so i might pick that one up as well because it's very rare that you find something you like like this like in lots of different colorways so i think i might as well just buy all the colorways so that i've got lots of options so that is everything that I picked up from Bershka. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I feel like I'm going to be doing a lot of hauls from Bershka because honestly, if this is the start of their autumn winter collection, then I can't wait for when it's full on winter and they bring out all their really nice coats. So I'm really excited for that. Thank you so, so much for taking the time to watch and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.